Well, Derek, a 2 0 defeat at Harrogate today. Just overall, your thoughts on the game? Yeah, I thought we started the game very well. We started the better of the two teams. Um, we got into some nice areas, and uh, you know we were unfortunate a number of times not to have got uh, a clear sight of goal um, in the first half. We have to take off JJ McKernan with a head knock. He got an elbow to his head, and and he's had to go off at nil nil, which you know was hugely disappointing for us, but. Um, the incident was missed by the referee uh, and his uh, assistants at the time, so that probably could have been a red card for uh, Harrogate in the first half. And then the referee gives a penalty uh, to Harrogate, which um, we've seen on the video footage, um, it looks like it's come off uh, Rawson's chest rather than what the referee seems to think it was his arm. Uh, the referee doesn't have the greatest view uh, of the incidents because he's in a diagonal from it and uh, he's, he's maybe blinded, but he feels that uh, he's given the decision as a penalty and the score from it. So that gives Harrogate a lift because we were well in the game up to then. Uh, second half, um, we have to make a couple of substitutions because of uh, injury, but also because... Um, we felt that one of the, the centre-halves who'd been on a booking who both got booked in the incident for the penalty kick um, and we took off Jacob Badu. possibly got the wrong one, we could have taken off Rawson but uh, that's in hindsight uh, and then they scored directly from the incident where uh, we give a free kick away to make it 2-0 other than that, we worked ever so hard with 10 players to, to try and get back in the game but really um, it was a difficult afternoon for us you say with hindsight because Farron got sent off where he was on the yellow card, got a second yellow card, which in itself looked a bit 50-50. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there was a number of incidents in the game where they could have been booking for many players, but uh, you know, he chose to, to book him for the incident. He felt that he was fouled in the incident first, but um, the referee chose to give him a double booking. Unfortunately, for you, that's two away defeats in a row now. Farron uh, suspended for next week. Chris Stokes came in today. First time we've seen him for much of the season. Uh, very experienced man who can come in for you next week. Yeah, I mean, we've obviously um, got that, and uh, he's, you know, come on late on in the game, and we changed a, a few things in the the 90 minutes. We got, you know, players an opportunity to play today, but um, in the end, um, we we haven't done enough to win the game today, uh, and we just feel that maybe some major decisions in the game haven't gone for us. We had a few chances towards the end. Adam May forced a great save from the keeper. Jordan still had a chance towards the end. Maybe if he got one, it just might have made a little bit of a difference towards that final 10 minutes. Yeah, I mean, I think it would have. I think that, you know, with the 10 men, you know, for that 30 minutes, 20 minutes, we definitely, you know, kept on pushing and pushing. But uh, unfortunately for us, um, it wasn't enough and we couldn't get that, you know, one goal to give them a scare. Just almost a week now to go towards the transfer deadline. I know we've asked a few times, but uh, how are you progressing with that? Yeah, we've still got, the, you know, two players to try and take in uh, to bolster our squad and uh, we've got a week to do that before the Salford game. Have you got clear targets or plan A or plan B, depending on what happens as it goes, as the week goes, progresses? With Morecambe, it's plan Z, X, Y, it's all these things. Um, as you know, um, it, it is difficult. You mentioned JD McKeon, then he was caught by a flaying elbow. No decisions were made, but, but how is he? Because he did look a bit gingerly as he walked off. Yeah, he's got a big lump in the side of his head, uh, and that doesn't come with fresh air. Uh, you know, he took a sore one. The player was trying to get away, and uh, you know his his elbow has you know got, made its way into his forehead, and unfortunately, um, you know we had to take him off right away. Last away game was a three 0 defeat at Mansfield, but he got a response for the home game. He's back at home next week, looking for the same. Yeah, I mean, obviously we've had. Uh, two wins, a draw and two defeats in our first five games So, and we've obviously gone away to uh, Rotherham as well but you know, this afternoon it was difficult when you know you lose that goal, the players felt hard done to, as you can see you know, after the game, uh, it hasn't got any better Just going to pull you back there on the, the transfer targets, any, anywhere in mind any certain positions that you've got keyed up, lined up? We do, yeah we, we, we obviously um, we have to look at defensively and uh, in attack, and uh, they're the two areas where um, you know we don't have enough numbers at this moment in time. The youngsters are against today. Tom Bloxham started off really well. Michael Mellon again showed some good touches. A good effort from 30 yards. It wasn't too far wide. They're giving you the role, aren't they? Yeah, I mean we've got a young squad, and uh, you know they're 
you know, working ever so hard and they just kept on going to the, to the final whistle today. You couldn't ask for, for any more effort from them uh, towards the end of the game. Get money for your old phone.